Hi, how are you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add a veil to a picture. So you can see this is the before picture and this is the after with the veil added to it. So I'm going to start again and walk you through the process. So all I've done is gone on to Adobe Stock and downloaded this, this wedding veil here. So you can go onto there. There's lots of different uh, platforms you can go on. So all we need to do is copy this and paste it onto the other image. So I'm gonna press Control Command A, Control Command C, and then come to the image and then press Control or Command V. So there we go. Now I'm gonna press Control or Command T to transform it and that will give us this selection box over the veil. So I'm just gonna quickly put it over to the other side so it is going in that direction towards the left because the other way would just look weird. Um, so what we need to do is get rid of this, obviously the black, and that's really easy to do. All we need to do is change the blending option to either lighten or screen. And what that does is that actually gets rid of any black areas there. So you can see down here, so lighten and then screen. You can decide which one you want. I'm gonna go with screen because that looks a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna position this then onto her head there. And I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger actually. Pull this out because I want this to be quite quite dramatic. So I'm gonna line it up carefully just so it's covering a, a, just the top of her hair and her head there. Now what I'm gonna do is right click and then I'm going to select warp. Now this is gonna give us a little bit of creative play and freedom. So all we need to do is look at these round points here and we can either push in or we can pull out. So I like to do this and just play with it. I don't really follow any rules. It is creative license, creative freedom, just to get something that looks really, really fun and natural. So obviously we wanna try and keep that point there because that's, that's gonna work. So we don't really wanna be uh, pulling any of these as you can see um, and this one here as well that'll pull it away so it's mainly just these back ones here so try and think about how it would naturally look so let's just maybe pull that up a little bit um, see what it looks like if it's a little bit longer or a little bit shorter whatever works for you so I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to hit enter and that's now added that veil so a couple of things are I would probably do is get rid of the hair at the back here. We could leave it. Um, we could leave it because it is, you know, it is part of the shop. But I think it, if the veil was there, it'd be quite heavy and it would be holding the hair down, as you can see down here. So I'd probably just clone this out. And then we need to address the fact that this is white and her dress is more um, of an off white, it's more of an ivory kind of color. So we just need to try and match that up as well. So now we've positioned this veil, all I'm gonna do is come to the background layer and I'm just gonna select the clone clone tool, clone stamp tool, bring the opacity down a little bit and we'll press the Alt or Option key to select the area of this rock. And then I'm just gonna slowly take away that hair. So just take your time with it. And if you make a mistake, just go back by pressing Control Command Z or Z, however you want to pronounce that. Um, and just with this, just take your time. And uh, the, yeah, the trick with this as well is also having a, a brush that's soft. So go to 0%. 0% still means it will work. Uh, it just means it's really, really soft. And when you have a soft brush, you get a better blend. So you don't get really, really hard lines, okay? so. That's always a, a good thing when you're doing stuff like this. So you might not need to do this on your image, but I think personally on this particular image, it needs it. Now the good thing is, is that the veil is just basically an overlay look. We can get rid of it. So we can actually get rid of it by just clicking on that eye and just work out where we want this hair to kind of finish. So it still looks relatively good, even without the veil there. Just, just even though people aren't going to see that, it's just having that precision and that um, 
you know quality of work so there we go let's bring that back on there we go that sits really really nice now doesn't it that looks a lot more natural okay so now we've addressed that let's come down to the bottom here and let's select a curves adjustment and then i'm going to click here which is a clipping mask meaning that it will only affect the layer below which is the veil it won't affect the background it will only affect the veil so if i click in the middle this is going to give us a little bit of control in the mid-tones so i'm just going to zoom in there we go and the whole idea with this is just to dampen it down a little bit so it's not as bright so these these are the black areas here as you can see so i'm actually going to bring some black in because of the black sand um, it would naturally come through and then the top half is the white so again we know that the dress is not white it is uh, more of an ivory color so again i'm going to bring that down and the blacks playing a quite a big uh big influence on on this image so if we look at the before and after of just the tone curve you can see that's really really nicely just dampened down that white and uh, made it look a little bit more realistic so let's add another adjustment and this time we're going to select levels and i'm just going to play with the middle section before i do i must click this button here to create another clipping mask so it only affects the veil and we can then just bring this down a little bit maybe bring some black in and just see what happens if we push that white up a little bit not too much though so about there i think is really good okay uh, and let's make one final adjustment and this one i think we're going to select a color balance and from here with the tone i'm going to go to the shadows and i'm just going to pull the yellows in a little bit uh, again i forgot to do it you might do it all the time as well but you need a clipping mask so we only affect the veil not the whole picture it's easy easily done to forget um but yeah so let's just drop that yellow down a little bit i'm going to come to the mid-tones drop that down a little bit as well so i like to just push these to the extreme sometimes because i find that that kind of calibrates my eyes to the screen and then i know how far i can push it but there's always a tipping point on an image um, there's always a point in which the color becomes too overpowering so it's just finding that real tipping point that real fine tune tipping point so i think it's about there about f minus five there we go that's good so let's have a look at before and after that you can hopefully see yep yeah, so we've just added a real ever so subtle yellow tone into that veil which kind of matches the dress there we go okay so that's how you do it so let's have a look at the before and after then just take a quick snapshot of that so you can see there is the before and there is the after looks pretty convincing and i think it really finishes off this image in particular makes it a little bit more dramatic so yeah feel free to try this technique on your images and um, see how you get on i hope you've enjoyed that uh, once you've finished as always i'm going to talk you through the last process is you come to layer and you can flatten the image if you do that then it means that your work will not be saved so you, you will just have your image okay so when you save this you will just have the image what i recommend you do is always save your files so that you can come back later and change these if you want to so you can save save these as uh, for instance save it as a, a tiff file so what that will do is include the layers which you can see there so if you open up this image again then you will have these layers you can come back and you can make small adjustments okay so i hope you enjoyed that i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye